EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update on this Wednesday, the 24th of August. Looking at the Dow down 38 to 32,871. So for the past uh, one, two, three, four, five, five sessions, we've made lower lows. Uh, we'll see where we close today. My, my thinking here is that we're going to find a little bit of stabilization just momentarily, and we'll see if that's able to last all the way through Thursday and Friday. Looking at the S&P, uh, also in a sell signal. Uh, under the 200 period moving average, trading at 41.33, up 4.65 right now. Uh, this is also making lower lows, but we'll see if there's some kind of a rebound a little later on in the day. One, two, three, here we go. QQQ, nice move up, 59 cents at 314.63. Made a low of 312.99. Also made lower lows in the last uh, four or five sessions. And we'll see whether this can try to get to the 315.80 area or higher today, or at least by tomorrow. IWM, Russell 2000, up 96 cents at 191.91. <clears throat> Uh, it uh, double bottomed. Uh, we'll see if this is going to try to rally towards the 192.80 area. And we're looking at the gold. Uh, gold had a nice rally yesterday. It's pulling back a little bit down to at 1759. Just stuck in a range. And I was talking about this. I'll talk about it when I do my show in a moment. The target technicians are that the GDX was okay, but it needed to hold that really good gain intraday. Looking at crude oil. Look at this crude oil. Trading up again, up 67 cents at 9441, using that 200 period moving average as a fantastic springboard. Talk about springboard. Look at this. The dollar is trading at 108.99. It went to within cents of the 109.29 high of the 19th of July yesterday, uh, within two cents. And we'll see whether it's able to break. Everything technically says it should go higher. It should start a continuation of legs C in the monthly chart. We're looking at the TLT, which is bonds, uh, trading yet again down 51 cents at 111.51. So I have a left side, right side price time match. This is bar symmetry. I had my webinar based on bar symmetry the other day, and it said that the low that was made on the 28th of June of 110.87 is possibly the target here before there's a bounce and we are very close we hit 111.48 i'll be back in a moment for the target emissions hour and check out my opening call daily newsletter has some very interesting positions put on i'll be back in a moment hope you can stay.